हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग जय हिंद बच्चों इन द लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड दैट व्हाट इज द पोल्यूशन द कॉजेज ऑफ द पोल्यूशन टाइप्स ऑफ पोल्यूशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ बिजनेस इन इन्वायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन हाउ वी कैन गिव our contribution as a business to save the environment because this is the very very important point saving the environment saving the society creating a healthy working culture healthy working environment is also the role of business what do you think guys how the business can play the role to protect our environment simple if the business follow the good ethics if the business follow all the rules and regulations which is predefined for them to follow it to save to protect the environment they can play their role the first one in the role of business environmental protection is work culture work culture a healthy work culture where everyone is respecting each other where attitude problem is not there where the initiative is there for taking that the management want to listen the suggestions also from employees there the environmental will be very very good and for that the top management for that bachcha the top management should come forward to create this type of policy by which the environment become very much healthy i'm giving an environment of a very bad work culture where the organization is divided in two group one is the management group one is the employees group management always thinking that my employees are not doing good they are not capable they are not giving their 100% vice versa employees are also thinking <coughs> that my management is paying a very few very less remuneration our management is not giving the respect and care to us they are the problem of disputes will come the problem of a mental war will come and who will suffer organization that's why top management have to create the policy like this that the both group work together for a common goal for the society development for the organizational development and no doubt for the personal development also second ideas and information to the employees always a business have to share the ideas and technical information regarding environmental protection how we can protect the environment what we have to do what we don't have to do with a uh, to the employees the cooperation means cooperation co means together operation means doing the business here so bachcha always the business have to share 
each and information taking the suggestions regarding the environment protections to the employees for example suppose a particular concept they are working to reduce the air pollution which is actually because of their organization so they can take the suggestions from the employees they can share the ideas where the employees can give the valuable input how to protect the environment in a better way and that is actually the role of business in environmental protection the very very important we have two options a business have two options either to earn huge profit by giving a very low class material which can harm the environment very easily and they have one option to provide the best quality materials which either can not harm the environment or if there is a chances the chances will be minimized and this is also the role of business in environmental protection i'm giving the example disposable plates ab disposable plates are two types one can be made from thermocol one can be made from papers which can harm the environment more and more the thermocol the plastic one paper plates is actually the eco friendly that's why but in paper plate the profit will be less but in thermocol and plastic plate the profit will be high but this is the role of business the business have to provide the good materials to reduce the environment pollution next one is modern technology dekho time to time technology upgradations are there our scientists are working that how to minimize the pollution in the environment by utilizing the advanced technology for example i'm just giving example to you old cars old technology is polluting the environment more and more now but now bs6 model is there which is polluting the environment very less so when technology upgradation will be there that will always and always contribute in environment protection and what is the role of business replace the machine adopt modern technology replace remove that technology which is not helping in environmental protection if you have a chimney which giving so much air pollution replace that with modern technology with come with the filter and with the filter only the air which is coming outside from your chimney will be more and more filters and can harm the environment very less all chemicals are stored in filter all dangerous harmful chemicals are stored in the filters what the business have to exactly do with the modern technology next one our next one is role of business in environmental protections simple follow the rules and regulations by the government a government is always setting some norms some rules some regulations for protecting the environment but a business is avoiding this business is manipulating this 
and the reason is very very simple to reduce the cost to earn more and more profit and when you are there for earning more and more profit not following the rules and regulations of the government you are actually manipulating two content number one to the government you are manipulating by not following the rules and regulation of the government and second you are manipulating the society also by not giving your contribution what you can give to protect the environment that contribution is also not there in the business and which is very dangerous scientific methods in the picture you can see in the picture you can see how we convert the waste materials into the useful materials why we are giving the chance to the waste materials to pollute our environment with the scientific methods of recycle reuse we can utilize the waste materials also we can we can convert that waste materials into a useful forms we can convert that waste materials in the reusable goods we can change the sea we can change the method we can change the content and we can find a new product from there and that is also the role of business how the business can protect the environment this is also the role of business to support in the government programs swachh bharat abhiyan is actually for everyone and in that how they are how the business can help business can help to provide the funds to the government the business can help to spread the idea of the government to clean our environment clean our place by helping in government programs by giving the donation they are actually giving the financial help to the government so government can run these type of programs properly and that is actually the role of business in the environmental protection so bachcha have a break just look back environmental protection of business is simple how the business is contributing to protect the environment that is actually the concept behind this particular theory what we are discussing in that bachcha in that bachcha the first one is the first one is work culture by healthy work culture sharing the ideas and information to the employees and train the employees as also employees can not do more and more pollutions good quality materials using the good quality materials already we discussed using the modern technology less pollutions more utilizations by following the rules and regulations of the government what the government prescribed to follow it scientific method is converting the waste materials in the useful product which is known as waste management nowadays so many scientific methods are there what a company can follow and company can produce another goods from the waste materials a company can utilize the waste materials in their daily business routine support in the government programs already we discussed give the funds to the government give give the ideas to the government plantation of the trees is also the things what a business can do and time
timely assessment of the pollution control programs time to time checking all the machines all the equipment of your business that my all equipments are under control my any particular machineries or equipment is not harming the society more than a limit doing the timely assessment of this particular thing is known as timely assessment of pollution control programs and if business find out that they, this particular equipment that this particular machine this particular unit is polluting the environment more than a limit in a harmful way time to replace replace that machine repair that machine bring some new technology by which you can give your contribution to protect the environment so these are the point bachcha how a business can play a very good role to protect the environment our next topic is business ethics ethics means what good behavior what is a business ethics business good behavior what business have to do for the society for the consumers for the employees for the shareholders for the investors that the all good behavior will be considered as business ethics so business ethics word derive from the greek word ethos which mean character or the sentiment of community ethics specifies what is good or bad fair or unfair right or wrong that is considered actually the meaning of business ethics and that's why always your parents are developing your teachers are developing the good friends are developing the good ethics in you because you have to identify that what is good for you what is bad for you what thing is right what thing is wrong at the time you have two choice either you can go for right either you can go for wrong either you can go for good either you can go for bad and if you have good ethics in you then definitely you will choose the right way definitely you will choose the thing what is good for you that's why developing the ethics in each and every person is very important and it is important for the business also the business also have to develop the good behavior for the consumers for the society for the government and for the employees itself business ethics refer to the moral principles followed by a businessman in his dealing with the people what are the business ethics for a business better quality fair price justice courage thrift etc is actually the good business ethics not doing the black marketing taking the reasonable price not selling the expiry goods if anything is wrong delivered in the market by the business taking back all that and replacing that at the free of cost is the good business ethics and believe me guys the business who is following the good business ethics is always growing in the market business ethics help to win the confidence of customer if there is organization who always think for me there is organization who always give the better quality to me at the reasonable price slowly and slowly the customer will become a permanent customer 
I'm just giving example, practical example. You went in a restaurant. You order, suppose mutter paneer you order. Mutter paneer come on your table. When you taste the mutter paneer, maybe it is not good. Something you feel bad. You complain to the restaurant owner. Two situations can be. Restaurant owner will say, no, my content, my quality, my mutter paneer is good. We cannot replace, we cannot refund. Second option. The owner will check that. And if owner actually find out, yes, there is something problem. Owners show regret and replace that mutter paneer. And if you want refund, they refund the money to you. In the first situation, the restaurant owner lost that customer forever. In the second situation, the restaurant owners build up a relation with the customer. A restaurant owner actually create a relation with the customer of bond, of trust, ethics. So the second situation, second restaurant owners showed a good ethics. And because of that, the restaurant owner number two win the confidence of customer and now customer will come customer will do the mouth publicity customer will always praise you and customer will give 10 customer more to you so you can do the progress in your business you can grow in your area and that is what actually the meaning of business ethics advantage of business ethics How we can say that business is doing the ethical practice? The first one is fair and reasonable price. If you come to know that my product is good, if you come to know that my product is needed one, if you come to know that I'm the growing company, it doesn't mean that you increase the price unnecessary. Because you increase the price unnecessary then either the customer stop buying the products from you either the customer will shift to any other company and ultimately the business will secure the losses that's why the price should be always fair the price should be always reasonable as per the quality and as per the good standard The next one is correct weight and measures. Sometime what happened? On the packet it is written one kilogram. But once you put it that particular packet on a weight measurement machine, it is just coming 890. But I always remember it is not the matter of ethics also. A customer can file a case also in the court, in the consumer court against you under the Weight and Measurement Act. And by doing this, they lost the trust of the customer. So this is also the good business practice, ethical business practice, the correct weight and measure should be there if it is written 100 gram so it should be 100 gram at least so bacha in the next prompt payment of tax that is also the good business practice good behavior that business is not doing any manipulation with the total tax what business is doing? Business try to save the taxes. Business try to 
do that that they manipulate the government by doing the changes in the accountancy treatment by changing uh, any particular things and sometime they are not making the payment of taxes this is also the good behavior of the business that disclose actual profit actual profit i'm telling you and whatever the taxes is charged on that profit making the payment of that taxes on time is also the good behavior of any business next fair treatment to the employees a happy mind always produce the things happily and when they produce the things happily the things will be always and always good simply this has happened with the business practice also that in business treatment to the employees should be very fair treatment to the employees means giving the good salary good respect good working condition listen their problem try to remove that problems is all about the fair treatment of the employees next one is the sell of genuine products business having two options either the business can send the local duplicate products either business can sell the genuine original products by selling the local products no doubt business can earn more and more profit by selling the duplicate products business can earn more and more profit but business will lose the trust of the customer business will lose their image goodwill in the market and that's why sell of genuine products is actually the need and ethics of every business that every business have to sell the original have to sell the good quality products and they not only sell the products they own the tax they earn the trust of the customer also and when a customer is attached with you for a long time then your business can definitely grow at very large stage a reasonable profit that is known as reasonable profit margin one one particular line is there which is very famous in this covid 19 situation aapda mein avsar aapda mein avsar what is the meaning of this when the companies are knowing that okay this is a particular uh, what you can say a situation where for the health issues customer can pay any amount they increase the prices they increase the prices why so because they are knowing that customer will purchase at any price because of this covid 19 fear and we can earn more and more profit this is not the good behavior of the business business have to always earn the reasonable profit what is actually needed that should be earned by business only okay so uh, this much for today bachcha thank you everyone for listening me and i hope all points are clear to you please make a proper notes in your notebook till then thank you take care bye bye enjoy your day